What up, sweet gang? It's your girl Rochelle in the building coming to give you life for show. And in this video is well requested. And I thank you for those that have subscribed. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe to this channel. Your girl Ro, definitely to give you life. Leave a comment in the comment section below letting me know how you enjoy my videos. Don't forget, to, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because we got more for you coming lately. Lately, we've been going ham. Hey, y'all. We've been going ham with these videos and I am enjoying giving y'all life. So, in this particular video... I'm going to be showing you how to create decorated graduation apples. I mean, strawberries. All right. I'm excited about the apples because y'all been waiting on that. So I said apples. So we're going to get started because um, I don't want it to be too lengthy. You know, I jump right on into it because it's a few things I need to show you here. Right. So I already have dip strawberries i'm going to dip two for a particular technique that um you need to see for information on how to dip strawberries and color strawberries stay tuned for that and i will leave a previous link of another video that i have done in the description box below all supplies that you see here will be in the description box up under the video um for your leisure so let's get started here I have some examples of a few things that I'm going to decorate on the strawberries. Also keep in mind when you do add fondant to strawberries, you need to prep them days ahead of time. If you're working with fondant, it's okay to prep them like a few days ahead of time. Um, especially if you want them firm. There is other ways to get your fondant firm is by adding Tylos or CMC powder, which this powder will help um, thicken and firm, give firmness to your fondant. But I like to set mine out so it can get a little firmness. And let's get into the supplies. I have some gloves. I have a few molds here. This mold is what you see here. I have a graduation mold here which are some of these graduation hats that you see here. Strip cutters. Okay, this particular strip cutter is going to create the sash. This is a small strip cutter that will give you those small lines on the sash. I have a pin blade, a retractable pin blade. Okay, this is a rope mold. That if you want to add like ropes, you know, that they wear, those that get the honor ropes and wear with their sashes. So this particular mold and there's several other molds that you can use that is a rope mold for that particular design. And I have the Tappet uh, numbers that I'm going to show you how to use, which you see right over here to the right for those particular numbers that go on to the sashes so this is called a tap it a couple of brushes my handy dandy ateco scooper scraper scooper <laughs> paint palette i have some poppy paint because i'm gonna give my stuff some shine and i will be using fat daddy o's find it and i'm using red and black I have a pastry bag here to keep my fondant covered because um, you want to definitely keep it covered so it won't dry out more so it won't you know dry out you want to keep it moist all right so let's get started I'm going to be using um, some powder but first let's get our strawberries dipped and out the way I'm going to just put in the fondant here, separate the bag like that so they won't touch. All right, put that over to the side. Now I have my red chocolate, 
which I'm going to show you how to achieve this color soon. But for melting, check out my other videos that I do have on my channel. All right. So I'm going to show you because um, you may see a lot of glitter on some of the strawberries. And you may see sand and sugar. So with this particular technique, I'm going to just show you dipping your strawberry before you apply any fondant to the strawberry. Um, you want to add the sand and sugar first. All right. Thank you, Bella. Shout out to Bella. Showing some love. Thank you. Okay, so going in completely, y'all know I like a full cup of chocolate when dipping your strawberries. See how pretty this is? This is Merkin's chocolate that I'm using. Okay, so once you dip, I go straight into the sand and sugar and just cover that way. Sit in the sand and sugar and just tap on so that you can get the, I didn't let that drip all the way, but it's, it's fixable. I know some of y'all will do that and be like, oh, I messed up. It's okay. It's fixable. As soon as you dip, it's going to get hard, but I want a good clean surface, so I'm just patting the front of the strawberry and cleaning it up just like that so no panics no worries when you dip into the standing sugar okay see how easy that was and you just set that down all right and that little extra chocolate that's in there you just take it out and just throw it out Okay. Shaking up the chocolate, dipping once again, which I think some got in there. Going in, dip, 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 dip. Dip some more sand and sugar on here. Make sure you let all that chocolate drip off so you can just apply it straight into the sand and sugar. But like I said, it dries up quickly and just try to shape up your surface because that's going to show when you decorate. All right. And you just set that. To the side. All right. those that is joining this is a live recorded session and if those that will be re-watching this video there may be a Q&A in this session and please note that it's a live recorded video and I welcome you so let's get right into the next part So the next part, you definitely want your surface to be dry. So once you have your strawberries and everything dipped, this is the part that needs to be dry. Prepping all of your 
fondant pieces, okay? So what I do is powder up my surface. Powder up my surface to roll out the fondant. Now what I'm going to show you is how to achieve the numbers by using the tappet. It's very important that you have your surface powdered up. Don't be alarmed. You know, this works best for me because I get them out and they be perfect every time. Because a lot of people don't like to use um, tappets. But I'm telling you the best way. I'm just showing you the best way that works for me to get these tappets out. So what's important is powder up your surface, powder up your tappet, and get your fondant. And you will be able to clean up the... You will be able to clean up the powder from the numbers, and I'll show you that later, okay? You may not have to use as much as me, but I powder up the surface because I'm always going back and forth and creating um, a lot for a project, okay? So I just keep some out here. Put that extra over to the side. Taking my rolling pin, powdering up my rolling pin, and roll out. Okay. Once you roll out, you're going to use the strip cutter. Strip cutter is going to help you get these tappet numbers out, whether it's numbers or letters. So you press down and you hold these um, knobs here and you just shake it back and forth. Take off the extra, okay? Flip it over. Take out the strip. Okay? that over to the side. Now remember, keep that surface powdered. Now you can cut these in squares or you can do it from the strips. I find it better for me to do it from the strips. Find the number that you're going to use. Okay, so we're going to start with the two. Okay, line it up. Flip it over, line it up. On to the strip, making sure that's powdered up enough, okay? You're going to press, shake it back and forth. If it's stuck into the tappet, that's what you want, and that's fine, okay? So it's stuck in there, right? Holding your hand here, pulling here, close to the surface, tap it. It's going to take a few times for it to come out. Using your handy dandy Ateco scraper here. Which is my best friend. Flipping it over. You may have to put it back in shape. But that's how you get. Oops. Your numbers. So you know when you take them out at this point. They're really soft and delicate. So you need to let these sit to firm up. Okay, and that's the number two. All right, so let's do a zero. Like I said, I'm going to show you the zero because when you press into the zero, you need to do something special to it to take it out. So press, shake back and forth. Okay. Now you see you have the whole thing cut out. Take a toothpick, dig out the center part so that the O can come out. All right? So if you pop it out and try to pull that O out, you'll mess up the shape of your zero. So once again, hold the bottom, pull the top, pop it out just like that.
okay? And the same you would do with the nine. I'm going to show you the one. Press. Okay, you see how that comes out? I like for it to be stuck into the tap it so I can pop it out. Because sometimes you can break it out, break the number. Okay. That's the one. All right. And then bring this other strip and we're going to do the nine. Press, shake back and forth. Same thing with the zero. Take out that center. Pop it out. That's how you use the tappets. All right. So let's move right along with the next piece. Next piece is going to be the molding. Okay. You can powder up your mold just a little bit. Now this technique... I'm going to use this middle one, which is this one, and then this small portion. I just want the cap and not the bottom that you see over here. And this is going to be red and this is going to be black. So you can add a little powder, and I'm using powder sugar, or you can use starch. Okay. So I'm going to take a piece of red fondant. And add it to the mold. Okay, you don't have to add too much because it's not that deep. Excuse me. Taking your it roller and just roll over your object there. Taking your scraper and scrape right across the mold. Okay, taking off the extra. You want to make sure that you have that molding in there. Okay. Everything, the, the fondant, you want to make sure it's all in the cavity. If you have some extra pieces sticking out, you can cut that out. Okay. So, you can pop it out. Or you can place it in the freezer. If you place your mold in the freezer, it makes it much easier for your fondant to come out uh, a little bit firmer when taking it out. So one or two options, you know, add in the powder. Okay. You want to knead your fondant a little bit to get out the cracks. And add it right to your piece. Okay, I'm just taking out some of that extra. Find it because you want your cavity to be completely filled. Like I said, take your rolling pin, I'm going over. Anything extra, take your scraper and just go right over. The cavity of the mold. Okay. All right. So, like I said, once you have it in, you can pop it up in the freezer for about five minutes, mm. and it pops right out. Or if you add powder to your mold, it pops out as well. So you can flip it over, and it comes right out. As so, as you can see that there, that over there, 
and once again with the red pop it out now this extra i'm just going to to cut off the good thing about this little a techo scraper it's very sharp and thin so you can just take the edge of it and just cut off that extra whatever you see okay and this is actually just going to be part of the design to go on the little stroll plaque there okay so i'm gonna set that over there and to create this it's a little flat once again powder up your surface need your find it roll it up to get out those cracks and yes i use this much powder okay because i love to for myself to come out right so with this one it's not it's just flat you see how thin it is it ain't too much in depth so this particular piece doesn't take much so start off with a small amount flatten it roll it out a little bit so once I roll it out what I do is just work into those cavities and you see it has like a detailed design on the side so um running your scraper over here is not necessary because it's really flat so taking my rolling pin just going over that and pay attention to the detail so you see those little spikes right up into there you want to push that find it back to find that detail in the cavity because that's how you want it to come out if you don't it's going to show extra find it lapping over so keep in mind that you have detail molds you want that detail to come out properly and be defined when you creating these pieces all right so make sure it's all in the detail make sure that cavity is full okay and I like to rub my hand over that and like I said you can pop this in the freezer just making sure this, this cavity is full so that it can pop out easily okay and which I'm gonna pop this in the freezer okay because I don't want it to bend break or tear so I'm gonna pop this in the freezer for about five minutes but when you pop it in the freezer this is how it comes out just like that you see the detail okay all right so we got all that right so now it's time to decorate the strawberry let's get into that all right so cleaning this up we got all our pieces out that we're going to decorate for this particular design okay so what you're going to do is my strawberry looks a little dull right and a lot of people wonder how do you get your strawberries to be so shiny when they be glossing and bossing guess what it's called super shine by poppy paint i had a little bit of this to 
certain strawberries, depending on what design I'm using. It's 100% edible. Okay, I will leave the link in the description box where to purchase from. And I'm going to take my strawberry and a couple of my pieces and shine them up. All right. So I'm going to use that piece. I'm going to use that piece. And also I'm going to use some numbers that's already been sitting out in this firm. Okay. So you can see how this all go. This is the first design. Taking a nice brush. When you use this brush, let this brush be the brush you use always for this particular um, uh, pr uh, product. Okay. Just shine it up. And it's going to stay glossing just like this the whole time. Okay. No change. All right. No change. Now, for the numbers. One second. For the numbers, see the powder on there. Just tap, you can tap it, or you can do them while they're on there as well. So I'm just going to shine this up. It don't take a lot. <laughs> and it's not necessary because you can use water. Just a little bit of water to clean up the powder. So this just leaves like a nice shine to it. So then when you add your numbers... Right on. So you have to be careful when you add it. So they can line up. And the same with the zero. Uh -uh. I'm trying to rush to get to the next one. And you don't need this particular product just to add the numbers. You can use just a little bit of water to the back of it and apply apply it to this little script here. A little water will do. This one I didn't. Or a small dab of, oops, I want to make no mess because this all takes concentration. 
don't take much to add to, but I didn't want to add more of this on here. You let that sit on in there and let it dry. Now I'm just going to add a small amount of chocolate to the end so that this can sit on the edge. It can go right here. Just a dab of do, or you can put it on the back of the hat. And stick that right there okay before I clean up the rest I want I'm gonna let that dry okay and I'm gonna let it dry before it's stuck to the strawberry so what I would do stick it right to the strawberry as such all right and that's how you make that particular design all right we good on that one now let's create the sashes for the strawberry. Taking our black. Are y'all enjoying this? Let's see some hearts if y'all enjoying this. Sweet gang, my sweet peeps. All right. I'm going to power this up a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to do black and red. It's my coordination color. So coordinated with red. You can add a little gold to the strips if you want um, I'm making the strips not too thin and not too thick okay taking the cutter strip cutter shake back and forth remove those strips Okay, now because this apple, I mean this strawberry is a little small, you can cut down the strawberry, uh, the strips either with your knife, bringing some off just a little bit, your pin blade, okay, or any little fine pieces that you want to cut off, use this pin blade, it's retractable, or you can take the cutter and come over just a little bit and cut it down some. Okay, once again. I'm just taking just a little bit off, okay? So, what I'm going to do is size up the strip. Cutting a piece off. And all you're going to do is take it from the top, how far you want it to come down. I leave off, I put a little extra just in case I don't want it to be too short. Okay. Taking a little bit of chocolate and just dab it there. Ok, 
Okay. Make sure when you do cut your strips to tap in, tap on the side so it won't have any rugged edges on the side. Apply before. Before it dries up. Okay. Now before I cut off the extra, I'm going to wait till it dry up. And you do the same for the other side. All right. Apply the chocolate. This calls for some delicate placement. Okay. So what I'm going to do is try to measure this out as much as I can. Okay. And like I said, if you have some water, just take some water and just clean up that powder. Let me get some more water. Put some water in here. It don't have to be a lot. And give it some time. I know I'm rushing through this for the sake of the time of the video, but it don't have to be a lot. Please allow this to dry. That's really wet, but um, when you get to add in your other pieces so that you can have a clean look and presentable um, decorated strawberry. Okay, the same with the numbers. Now the small strips, small strips, I'm going to show you real quickly. Same way, you roll it out. using the small strip cutter and press and it'll give you those small strips. Okay, you can take a toothpick or your pin blade and take out those and they make nice even lines for you. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. All right. And you just cut it in half. You just line it up. Actually, you can put these on before you even apply them to your strawberry, which I should have done. 
but I wanted you to see. Okay. And if you prep these strips early, the thicker strips, you don't want them to get too hard. So you want to do them as you go. Okay. So applying all this stuff needs to be firm. And then add to... Let's do one strip here. And because it's a strawberry, it's so small. So I'm not going to overdo it. I'm going to put one strip and then add the number. That's the nine. And the one. Like I said, you got to have patience when doing this. Working with the small details, okay? Don't rush the process. It'll all work out for you, okay? I'm panic. Oh, I gotta get the powder off, and you can clean all that up later. It's just a little different when you're doing um, the strawberries because it's so small and delicate. So take your time with it. Okay. Taking your cap, placing the cap right on top I'm clean that up and remember all this stuff is a process I'm really running through it um, usually I prep my little small pieces, get them out the way, except for the sashes, and apply them later on. Okay. All right. All right. So, and remember, this is chocolate. It's still chocolate. Let me get another brush. Using another brush to just clean up the numbers.
And I'm just using a little more finer brush to clean up the numbers. And like I said, you don't have to use a shine if you don't want to. Um, I just chose to show you what it looks like in this video. Okay. And if you was using sand and sugar, you would do the same thing. And that's just showed you to add it first in the beginning. And there you have your graduation strawberry. Okay. Any questions? This will definitely have to dry. Remember, I'm giving y'all a double header today. Which I'm going to pull this back over. your questions I'm repositioning the sash Definitely have to do this one. No. There you go. All right. Any questions before I end this video? This is amazing. I am hoping to try berries on my channel soon. All right. Congrats. Thank you. It's how are you do. Hi, Cynthia. Shout out to Cynthia. My day one subby. I am great. And like I said, once again, if you want to add, um, like I said, this will have to be firm enough to stand. I don't want it to slide off. But you will add chocolate to the strawberry, enough to hold, place it on there, hold it till it dries. Okay, hold it till it dries. And this is why I say it has to be firm. So you see how it just... It's just going to fall, sloop over. You don't want it to do that. So, that's what you would do for that particular strawberry. All right? All right. So, it has been amazing showing you all of this little detail work. I got to clean up because I am coming back with another video. And that is the graduation apple, which will be a little bit more simpler because... The apple is a little bit larger than the strawberry. So keep in mind, you're working with a smaller object. Detail is important if you want to add detail to your treats. It takes time. Have patience. Let your stuff firm. And you have the right supplies when making these particular um, desserts for your customer. Thank you. Somebody said, woo child, I'm tired already, but this is amazing. <laughs> You're welcome. It's all with preparation and um, patience. That's all it is. Thank you. The first video I caught you live, you are truly amazing. And such a blessing. Thank you so much for sharing your gifts. You're welcome. I appreciate your love and support. Um, 
And if you all noticed, I have been doing live with Ro lately. So I wanted to show how it all goes down without all the editing and stuff like that and waiting on YouTube to approve or whatever. So I'm coming with you live with Ro. So I appreciate if you all take the time and watch the videos. Everyone has formative and detailed information that I can give you. And I give it to you here on my channel. Because you know your girl here to give you a show for show. <laughs> Definitely coming to give you life. Thank you. How much do you charge for these strawberries? Would think five, seven dollars each. I'm right. <laughs> uh, if they're decorated strawberries, as I say, they are custom made according to your area. If your market calls, if your market sells for a particular price, meaning if your market calls for uh. 50 a dozen for these particular strawberries, then they will sell for that. Some areas may sell for just $35, $40. But if they're decorated, I would definitely sell them anywhere between, or custom made, but it depends on your area. That's why I hate to put a price on somebody else's work because I don't know what their work consists of. Because um, some people want to price something and they don't have good quality work. So please keep that in mind. Not taking shots, but that's just real talk. Please, don't put a price. Try to high price something. Because you know, you don't want to... You want to know your worth. But if you need to go back into the lab and, 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 and get that stuff done, get it done. Don't try to sell, no, sell something for $75 and people ain't going to buy it or they're not going to pay for it. So... Just keep in mind, just don't sell nobody anything. Have, have, um, have some, some patience and have some respect on your brand and what you're offering because you want them to come back. You don't want to scare them away and be like, uh-uh, I ain't, uh-uh, she won't $75 for what? Like, no. So, um, it's important that you know um, and this is just from my experience. Once again, I don't take from nobody else. I don't add on to nobody else. I am talking in reference of me, my experience, what I have done. And that's what I come to show you on my channel. So it's a blessing to be able to do this and to have the gift. Each day I learn something new and different because I am an instructor, a celebrity uh, sugar artist, and I teach around the world. So, I choose to share my gift with you all to help better your business or um, to bring life and a smile to somebody else that you do it for. That's what it's about at the end of the day. We have some amazing treat makers, bakers, and sugar artists here in this world, across the world. And trust me, you can learn from somebody. All right? There's enough coins out here for everybody, and you already know. It's your girl, Ro. And hey. Come on with the next. Come on. Let's let me see what you can do. Let's get this video to 600 likes. Okay. Let's get this video to 600 likes because I got something else special in store for you. All right. 600 likes. You got to go in the comment section and tell me what you want to see next decorated that I could bring you. I'm already coming back with the decorated uh, graduation apple. Let's get it. Tell me what you want to see. I got you. But in order for me to do it, you got to get this video to 600 likes. And I'll definitely get you life. All right. So that's, your, that's the end of this. And I will see you soon. Later today. And you already know. It's your girl Ro. I'm about to go.